Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and here's what I bring to you all from the world of medicine. FDA approves repression drug after rejecting it multiple times in 20 years. Jepiron hydrochloride extended release marketed as Exua has finally received FDA approval for the treatment of major depressive disorder in adults. This antidepressant is unique and it selectively targets the serotonin 1A receptor, which plays a crucial role in regulating mood and emotions. Jepiron ER had faced multiple rejections from the FDA over nearly two decades, but this recent approval marks a significant milestone. The approval is based on data from two eight-week clinical trials involving outpatients aged 18 to 69 who met the criteria for MDD. Both trials demonstrated that Jepiron ER was superior to a placebo in improving depression scores measured by the 17-item Hamilton Depression Rating Scale. In a maintenance study, patients who responded to Jepiron ER during open-label treatment experienced a significantly lower rate of relapse compared to those who switched to a placebo. Aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code or access the link in the description box below. Researchers find Ritomavir boosted Nirma Trelvir outperforms Molnupiravir in early stage COVID-19 treatment. In an ongoing international study published in the Lancet Infectious Diseases, researchers have found that both Molnupiravir and Ritonavir boosted Nirma Trelvir accelerate SARS-CoV-2 viral clearance in COVID-19 patients with Ritonavir boosted Nirma Trelvir, demonstrating significantly greater antiviral efficacy. The PLATCOV trial conducted in Thailand involved low-risk adult patients aged 18 to 50 with early symptomatic COVID-19, defined as having symptoms for less than four days. Participants were randomly assigned to one of seven treatment groups, including Molnupiravir, Ritonavir boosted Nirma Trelvir, and a control group with no study drug. COVID-19, a major contributor to sepsis, finds a new study. Recent research led by investigators at Brigham's and Women's Hospital has unveiled a startling revelation. During the early stages of the COVID-19 pandemic, the SARS-CoV-2 virus responsible for COVID-19 was a more prevalent and deadly cause of sepsis than previously believed. While sepsis has received limited attention in previous research, primarily due to the scarcity of comprehensive data. To obtain a more precise understanding of sepsis cases, the research team tabbed into electronic health records from Mass General Brigham Hospitals during the study period. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.